52 ways to do porridge this week. Ravishing rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> Ravish. <laughs> Rab's rhubarb. <laughs> Rab's rhubarb porridge. <laughs> I don't think that sounds right at all. So basically, honey, rhubarb, and ginger. This, yeah, this is going to be honeyed rhubarb and ginger porridge, which we'll call as you. Ravishing rhubarb. Ravishing rhubarb. Now let's get stuck in. Right, so first of all, you're going to have to stew your rhubarb. But we've got to get rid of the leaves first because they're actually quite toxic. So yes. You chop that nonsense. I will do the chopping, right, chop, sir. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stew some rhubarb in amongst some honey. So, the. Oh, you're, you're well, slicing. Yeah, we need the sweetness because rhubarb can be a little bit sour. It can be a little bit. I think it can be sour. So, most people recommend stewing rhubarb in sugar. Now, we're the health coaches. We don't want to use sugar when we can help it. Therefore, we're going to use honey. And we'll see how it turns out. Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> so, we squeeze a honey. Now, they say uh, kind of good help in a sugar. I think that looks good. Yep. And then enough water. Just need a wee splash, to be honest. I think about that much. How much there? Now we need a quite a low heat or medium heat. So medium heat, and uh, then we just let that simmer for. It's not two to three minutes this time. It's not two to three minutes. It's eight minutes this eight time. Minutes, eight We're minutes. Simmer for eight minutes. Um, just. And since it doesn't take too long to cook the porridge up itself, we're going to prepare that now with a little bit of ginger. We put ginger into the porridge. Right. Let's do it. So, uh, the benefits of putting rhubarb in your porridge. Rhubarb is very high in vitamin K, which is good for the memory. Yeah, and Alzheimer's. And you also get a lot of fibre from the from <laughs> from the <laughs> rhubarb. From the ravaging rhubarb, you yeah. get a lot of dietary fibre, which is great for your gut health. Great for um, for for normalised blood sugar levels, not normalised blood sugar levels, for slowing down the release of the sugar from the honey. And regulating, yes. <laughs> regulating. And of course, the honey tastes damn good. Lovely. Okay, we're just getting our hot water into our porridge, and then Stephen's going to expertly add a little bit of ginger to the porridge. So we cook the ginger through the porridge, get the flavour throughout. Stephen expertly grated this earlier with our non-existent cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, I want a wee bit of um, substance to it. And then we'll just cook the porridge for how long again? Two to three minutes. Two to three <laughs> minutes. And we're all about presentation with the Kilty coaches. So this time we actually have gone to a bit of effort with presentation. Oh, you have, yeah. Yeah, so, so we're thinking about you know, it was just going to be rhubarb and ginger porridge. Yeah. But we're thinking honeyed rhubarb on the bottom for layer number one, and then layer number two is the ginger porridge. Oof, right on the top, like a rhubarb crumble. A little layer of rhubarb there. Right, let's get this neatly on the top, or as neatly as I can. Now, let's see if we can have a look at this. That's a massive spoonful, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna eat that that much. But look at that. I'm gonna eat that. It's gonna be hot, though. Get it down, you. Manly Scotsman blows his porridge. How is it? Oh, mate. Is it ravishing? That is ravishing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? What the f just happened there? I know we speak fast, but that was taking the piss. 